Hi guys, I'm Kim Orleski and I'm here to talk to you about pricing strategies. Pricing is one of the biggest areas that I constantly am a question on. They say, Kim, you tell us not to talk about hours and charging per hour, and you are absolutely right. If you are going ahead and trying to calculate your entire hourly wage based on, I wanna work this many hours, I wanna make this amount of money, that's fine. You've just created yourself a job. And if what you're trying to create is a job for yourself, you're good, you're golden. But most of you are saying, no, I don't wanna work in a job anymore. I wanna create a business. I wanna create something that has more impact, something that's gonna help more people, something that I can hire a team of people and we are all together rowing in this ship, getting to our final destination, whatever that might be. How do I go ahead and create a business? It starts with your pricing because you cannot price on the same model that you used in your job in order to create for a businesses. Businesses don't charge based on an hourly performance. Maybe if you're a lawyer, but even then they tell you about the number of hours that they would expect this to accomplish. They're thinking about the bigger picture though. No lawyer would ever work with you if they thought you were only going to give you an hour. And if that hour was really good, they'll give you another hour and another hour and another hour. They work with you on an hourly basis, but they they know what the entire project is going to look like. And when we are business consultants, when we're engineers, we're project managers, we are software developers, we don't want to just position ourselves based on a per hour basis. We want to position ourselves on the full project. Ah, because that's where the massive amounts of money come through. This is where our clients are able to generate revenue. And this also starts not just with the pricing, but how we question them in the pricing. Because when we accomplish what we want to accomplish with our client, it's not just what we've done for them. Here's the number of hours I've worked, now please compensate me for my time. This is about how this fits in the bigger picture. Because Mr. or Mrs. Customer, when we're able to achieve you the biggest picture that you wanted to, what would that do for your company? When you're able to not just save those amounts of hours that we talked to you about, but now you can reapply the time that you've saved into something greater, how would you reapply that? How much more money would you make? How much more clients would you receive? How much more profitability would this ultimately achieve? Because when we understand how we fit in that grand scheme, we price ourselves as a fraction of their overall goal. I was chatting with a woman, she's a researcher. She does horticulture research and she says, Kim, how do I price myself? And I said, it's not about what you do. It's not about the hours that you've spent researching for the company. It's about what they can do with that research. Because of you, they're able to develop more profitable products. Because of you, they can actually create more profitable customer programs. How much more revenue are they generating because of your revenue? And she says, I don't know maybe $2 million. I said, fantastic. If they're generating an extra $2 million from the revenue, from the research that you've done, does it still make sense to charge them $250 an hour times the hundred hours that you've done? You've charged them $25,000 and they're making 2 million off of what you've charged them? She says, actually, you're right. That doesn't really make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. But the other thing is that they don't value it. If they think that they're only going to pay this amount of money and it may or may not get them this schedule, it's just throw away. Sure, take it or leave it. We'll pay you. We'll pay you the same price we would pay somebody for two years of work. And if you can do it in a year, we've already won. If you're going to price yourself, understand where you fit in the grand scheme of your client. How much more impact are you gonna have on their business? Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but over a year, maybe five years, maybe 10 years. Because whatever you do for your client, it should have legs, it should have longevity, it should run. And if you're not creating something that has a systematic, a long purpose, what are you really creating? Price yourself according to how it fits in your client's big picture and you will sell more faster.